Hi everybody, this is day two of my 90 day video blog, part two, take two, whatever you want to call it. But here I am doing it again and I made it to day two. Woo, yay me, right? Yeah, let's do that again. Bam. Okay, so before I get started, just a little shout out to those of you who live um, in the Detroit metro area. I will be at Southfield's um, Fish Bones out in Southfield from, I think it's from six to eight. It's from 6 to 8 next Wednesday, February 5th, 2014, because I don't know how long this is going to be around. So if you guys are around, come on out. I'm actually going to be setting up my jury for that day. So like I said, come on out. Um, they'll have like different little flea market things. You know, get you ready for Valentine's Day. You know, get you get something special for your boo. So just come on out. Have a good time. Support your local business owners, things like that. Okay, now that that's out the way. So it's a thought that's been on my head, on my mind lately. And I said that if I, um, when I start this back up, it's one of the things I wanted to talk about. And um, one of the ladies that I sit next to at my job, she mentioned something. We were just talking in general about things that, you know, got, well, I should say they were talking in general because they are married. I'm not. So they were talking about their husbands and little things that their husbands do, you know, little quirky details and things like that. And so one of the ladies actually mentioned something that she does. So she was talking about how she, um, so when she gets up to come to work, you know, she just gets dressed and go to work. She doesn't bother cur curling her hair. You know, she puts her makeup on because she doesn't want to step out the house without it. But other than that, she doesn't really do anything. But on the weekend, she curls her hair, she gets dressed, and she, you know, she puts her makeup on to the T. And all of this because she's sitting at home spending time with her man. And at first, I'm sitting there like thinking like, if I'm chilling at home, he's going to understand that I'm chilling at home. But I thought it was cute because of the fact that they still act like they're just dating. You know, like they're just boyfriend and girlfriend, not husband and wife and been married for 20 years, which is really awesome. And I got me thinking and I kind of understood now what one of my exes was trying to say to me. Um, and it's basically... Well, basically, she said it, that she represents her man. So anytime that they go out, you know, she's a representation of him. So me being who I am, I'm like, well, does he represent you? She said, yes. So he is dressed to the T, make sure his hair is cut, nice looking clothes on, you know, nice neat clothes and things like that and smell good and all that good stuff for her as well. So I thought that was wonderful that the two of them actually do that for each other so that when they go out in public, they represent each other, which makes them a fantastic couple. And when I tell you these two are close, they're close. They're never separating. If they already get divorced, I would be so surprised. But, um... But like I said, it got me to thinking, and I think one of the things that a lot of us do is, is that we expect somebody to take us as we are, which is fine. Then you should. You should be comfortable with you, you are, and you should be with somebody who likes you as you are. But at that same token, that person that you're with wants you to be at your best and wants you to look at your best, just like you want them to be at their best and look their best as well. Because in truth, you are representations of each other. And it really got me thinking a little further because when it comes down to my work, like my book, for example, um, I know somebody who published a book, didn't get it edited, didn't get it looked at, really didn't have a marketing plan, all that good stuff. And it's out there. And yes, it is out there. But me, I'm taking my time. I have an editor that I work with. She's going through my book to make sure everything is right. And we're working together to make sure that when it comes out, it's going to be right. Why? Because that's on my name. And why would it be any less for me to expect that same, have that same expectation, not only of a man that wants to be with me, but me myself. So I kind of looked at it like that, like, you know, my book is going to be a representation of me and who I am. And I'm making my book look at its best. So do I always look my best? No. So, you know, it's kind of a catch 22. But I just thought it was awesome. I thought it's something that I would like to share with people because, you know, sometimes it just opens your eyes to things, you know, that it's kind of quirky, kind of a little silly, whatever. But I thought it was really beautiful that these two people sit back and they still, after 20 years, want to look their best because they represent the person that they're with. And because it's mutual that both of them feel that way, it makes them all the better couple. And it just, you know, the unity between the two of them. So I really thought that was something special and I really wanted to share it with everybody. So since I'm doing my blogs now again, I figured, hey, I share it with you guys today. So hopefully you got something out of that. Um, I know I did. And I hope I was able to convey that um, 
in a manner which you understand, hopefully. So um, that's it for tonight. So I will be at this again tomorrow. I actually had to go out and get a weekly planner because <laughs> I have so much going on and so many things that I need to take care of. So, But I am determined that I am going to get this 90 day video blog challenge done this time. This is my third go at it, right? First time I got up today, 44, 44, 45, something like that. The second time I did it, I did what? Two days? Maybe three. <laughs> so this time I'm going for it again. So 90 days. So this is day two. I have 88 more days to go. So I hope you're still with me for that whole 88. But um, in any case, though, I talk to you guys tomorrow. And you have a wonderful night. Bye.